Hi friends! Today I'm going to be making stuffed pumpkin in Japanese style. Have you ever tried Japanese kabocha squash? It's a good time of the year to try. It has a natural sweetness to it and the texture is similar to potato and packed with nutrients. The steamed kabocha is a staple dish, but today I make it into stuffed pumpkin with the ankake sauce. The ankake sauce is a soy sauce based thick sauce and it's so delicious. The sweetness of the kabocha and the savory aroma from the sauce is complement each other. And you can make ahead and freeze it for the busy weeknight dinner or a party. Let's get started. First, scoop out the pulp and seeds from the kabocha. Cut into four. It's really firm, so be sure to hold the knife tightly, not to slip and hurt yourself. Shave the skin where you see the scratches on the surface and the dirty part, and keep the smooth skin on it. And then cut into chunks and place on the heat-proof tray and cover with plastic wrap. Microwave it for 5 to 6 minutes or until soften on 800 watt. Meanwhile, let's prepare the other ingredients. Mise onion and shiitake mushroom. You can use the stem when you mince it finely. Now let's cook the filling. Put your ground chicken into a pot, not heat it yet. Add grated ginger and sake. Stir with chopsticks until sake absorbs. Now turn the heat on and start cooking on the medium heat. Use four chopsticks to separate the grains and keep cooking until it's cooked through. Add minced onion and shiitake mushroom. Cook another couple of minutes until the onion looks translucent. Add mirin and soy sauce and cook until almost all of the liquid is evaporated. It's going to take 5 to 6 minutes. It depends on the onion's moisture, but take your time to evaporate the moisture to make the next step easier. Set aside until used. Now let's shape kabocha into the individual stuffed pumpkin. Take out a piece of plastic wrap on the countertop and press the cooked kabocha on it. We are going to make 5 small stuffed pumpkins, so you should divide them into 5 portions. Wrap it loosely and smash the kabocha with your palm and spread it out to 12 to 15 cm in diameter. Open the plastic wrap, place a spoonful of fillings in the center, and wrap it around and shape it into a round shape. It's really like you are making a round shape of onigiri. The kabocha squash is cooked in the microwave so it doesn't add any moisture, so the consistency is just good. If your pumpkin is watery, Cook in the microwave without the plastic wrap and you can evaporate the excess moisture. And there you have your 5 small stuffed pumpkin. You can freeze it at this step and it will last a couple of months in the freezer and you can keep it in the fridge for about a couple of days. Now let's make the ankake sauce. Pour 
in a cup of dashi into a small pot and bring it to a boil. Add mirin and soy sauce, preferably light soy sauce. When it comes to a boil, add potato starch solution little by little to thicken the sauce. Give it a nice stir each time you add the potato starch solution. If you do not stir, you will have lumps in the sauce and it is not what we want here. You want to make sure to add the potato starch solution to get the desired consistency. You can use cornstarch instead, but it looks a bit cloudy and needs more than the potato starch. The consistency is like this. When you ladle it and it has a little bit of thickness, a little bit thicker than the gravy sauce. For the garnishing, cut your scallion diagonally. Place your stuffed pumpkin in a bowl and pour over the ankake sauce. And topped with scallions. Just 3 to 4 pieces is enough to add intense flavor to the dish. There you have it. Kabocha is so delicious with the ground chicken filling and the aromatic ankake sauce. The texture of the kabocha is flaky, just like potato, and the balance of the ankake sauce and the filling is so nice. I love this dish so much, and isn't it look like a kaiseki style high-end restaurant dish? You can entertain the people at your home with this easy but delicious and hearty autumn dish. Give it a try and let me know how you like it. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. And go to my website for the printable recipe and more information. And my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my video. Stay safe and stay healthy and I will see you soon. Bye!